Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relation Guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice or you want to learn more about how to think like a man or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything that you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, and also get my girls' night card game is officially out on my website. Link is in the description below. And if you're having a game night with your homegirls and y'all need something to do, make sure you go get these cards. They got a lot of great juicy questions on it that y'all love to answer, and it's just fun, fun for everybody. So make sure you go get that, right? My girls' night card game. Link is in the description, right? And also, on this hand, we have my ebook is called oh he's toxic period so make sure you go get that if you never want to be played used or manipulated by a man ever again make sure you go get my new ebook oh he's toxic period it's great it's fire you can learn a lot from it okay so that's out the way and we're gonna jump right into this video because i know this is a video that a lot of you ladies have been wanting me to make so here you go right 15 ways how to spot a narcissistic man right so here go 15 ways how you can identify a man that is narcissistic, right? So what is a narcissistic man, right? Okay, so here are 15 characteristics, 15 traits, or 15 ways how to spot a narcissistic man, all right? Number one, number one is they only care about themselves, right? So narcissistic men, they only care about themselves. They don't care about nobody else. Nothing else is going on. It's always about me. I only care about me. What I got going on, I ain't care about no nobody else. It's everything is about what I got going on in my life, you know? So it's always about them, you know? It's always about them and their well-being and forget everybody else so that's the first characteristic they only care about themselves i don't care about you 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 i only care about me that's narcissism right there it is finest when you only care about yourself and you don't care about nobody else they don't care about nobody's feelings they don't care about hurting nobody they don't care about nothing else they if you don't affect them they don't care point blank period they just don't care okay so that's number one they don't care about anyone but themselves number two Number two is they never take accountability for their actions, right? So a lot of men, they don't take accountability for their actions because they're narcissistic, right? So when you're narcissistic, you don't take accountability for your actions. Why? Because it's never your fault. You always feel like, oh, well, it's not my fault. It's your fault that I did what I did because you made me do what I did. So it wasn't my fault that I did what I did. It's your fault that you made me do what I did, right? So they never take accountability on, you know, their part. It's never it's never their fault. It's never their fault. It's anybody else's fault but their fault. They, they're never wrong. They never take accountability. No, if you try to point a finger at them, they're going to deflect it and they're going to be like, no, they're going to point the finger right back. So that's that, right? They never take accountability for their actions. Anytime they do something that's considered unacceptable behavior, they're not going to take accountability for it, right? So it's never their fault. So that's that. All right. So number three, number three is they try to flip everything on you, right? So that kind of goes into the accountability part, right? So when a man cannot take accountability for his own actions, what's the first thing he'll do? Point the finger at somebody else. So like I was saying before, it's not my fault that I did what I did, it's your fault that you made me do what I did. So he tried to flip it on you. He's gonna point the finger at you. And it's never, again, it's never his fault, but he gotta flip it on you. So not only is he just not taking accountability for it, but he has to take the accountability and throw it on somebody else because he don't want to take the accountability. So he got to throw it on somebody else so they can take the blame, right? So whether that be you, whether that be anybody, it doesn't matter. As long as it's not him and he's not in the wrong, he's all good, right? So that's that, all right? So number four. Number four is everything is about me, me, me. It's what I want to do, where I want to go, where I, 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 I. All, all the conversations that he started off Talking is always I. I want to do this. I want we. It's never. It's never we. It's never. It's never we. We're gonna do this, or or I want to do this for you, or do you want to do this? It's never no suggestions from from you. It's never nothing. It's just. It's just what I want to do is me, 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 me. Where I want to go, what I want to do. If either you with it or you not with it, and that's how narcissistic people or men are. They'll they'll be like, oh, well, everything's about me. It's my way or the highway. Either you're going to be here or you're not, and they don't care. You know, it's, it's always about me. 
as long as it, the, the center, I'm the center of attention. So you got to come into my life and you got to fit into my life. And I don't care about fitting into your life. I only care about you fitting into my life. How can you complete me as a man, right? I don't care about what I can do for you as a woman. So that's a lot of times, that's that. So a lot of times, everything is about me, 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 me. It's always about I, I, I. It's never about we, right? So he never says we, it's always me, right? So that's that, all right? So number five. Number five is he is very selfish, right? So narcissistic men are very, very selfish. They are the type of men that they don't care about, again, nobody else but themselves, and it's always about them, and they're just selfish, like, like they don't they don't share they don't they don't want nobody else to interfere with what they got going on they don't care about what you got going on what you got going on it's always about what i got going on uh you you can't have nothing i don't want to do nothing for nobody i don't want to help nobody out if it's not benefiting me then i don't want no parts of it and that's how narcissistic men are they're selfish so they don't want to help nobody else they don't they don't care for nobody else's feelings they don't care about you know trying to build nobody else up or trying to lend a helping hand to anyone they don't care they'll let you they'll let you drown and they'll sit there like oh hey i'm not gonna get my clothes wet jumping in the water for you so hey you could drown that's how they feel they selfish they just it's always about me i don't care about what you got going on whatever you know so they just selfish they don't care about nobody else they just selfish right now number six is narcissistic men are very cocky right so when i say cocky that means like they're very big-headed they're very, very, like, overly confident. So there's a difference between being confident and being overly confident, right? You could be confident and you can believe in yourself. You can love yourself. You can hold yourself up and you can say, look, when I, I know when I walk through the door, I turn heads. You know, everybody looking at me, all eyes on me. I draw attention. You know, I'm that person. You know, I'm that girl or I'm that dude or whatever, whoever you are, right? you like, I'm that, right? But narcissistic people are overly cocky. They're they're overly cocky towards overbearing. And when this is like, again, it, it's, it's so cocky and the confidence is too high to the point where they start being condescending to other people, right? And they start looking at different people different ways like, oh, I'm better than you in a way, right? So that's where that cockiness comes from. Like, I'm better than you. Cocky narcissistic man is like, yeah, man, you know, I'm the man, man, everything, anything I said, go, man, can't nobody tell me nothing, it is what it is, man, y'all already know, you know who I am, you know, and, and that, and it's overly, it's overly, like, it's just, it's just, it's just too cocky, right, and that goes right into number seven, and seven, it goes to arrogance, so I feel like cocky is where you're just big-headed in your own mind, right, and you just exude that big-headedness and that overly self-confidence, you know, to the world, right? You just exude that. But arrogance is where, like I say, when you, when you start looking down on people and you start being condescending and you start talking to people like they stupid because you feel like you're better than them, then yeah, that's when you're arrogant. So narcissistic men are very arrogant. They feel like they feel like they can do no wrong. They feel like they're always right. They feel like everything everybody else do is wrong. They feel like they're just the, the, the king of the world and everybody else is just little bitty peasants. That's how they feel, right? So they are very arrogant. They build themselves up to tear other people down, you know? And, and them tearing you down and looking down on you, that builds themselves the same up even more. So that makes them even more big-headed, right? So that's that. All right, so that goes right into number eight. Number eight is they look down on people. So when you look down on somebody, you're very narcissistic because you might not even be in a better position in life than that other person is. But since you're a narcissistic, that means that you, you don't matter where you are in life, you just think you just better than everybody. You could be broke and don't have no money, but you think that you better than everybody in the world, you know? You could, you just, and it, it, it's all in your mindset. You just think that you're just better than everybody. You look down on people. You're condescending. You look down on people. You know, you talk about people. You kind of like, you, you, you got your nose in the air. You're real snooty, real bougie, real like, you, you know, like, like one of those types, like real like, just, just mean and just arrogant and just, yeah, narcissistic, right? So just feeling like you just better than everybody. Just feel like, oh well, 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 you well, you this and you that. You know what I'm saying? Just talking about other people and, and never lifting nobody else up. Just just want to tear everybody down to bring yourself up. So they look down on people, right? All right. So number nine. 
Number nine is they are hypocrites, right? So narcissistic men are hypocrites. They are the biggest hypocrites in the world, right? Because narcissistic men, they will do something, right? But then it's, and it's okay when they do it, right? But then as soon as somebody else do it, oh, they pointing fingers. They put blame, blame, blame. But wait a minute, wasn't you just doing the same thing? Oh no, when it was when I was doing it, it was different. When I was doing it, it was okay, because I did it like this. And even though y'all did the exact same thing, they like, oh no, no, again, not taking accountability. And they not they always think they're right. So they're not never gonna take that blame. They're always gonna be like, oh well, when I did it, it was different. But when you did it, it was wrong. So they're hypocrites. So 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 whenever somebody else do something, it's 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 bad when they do it. But when but when they do it, oh it's cool. It's cool. When somebody else do it, oh they're wrong. You know, they want to point fingers and condemn them and want to bring them down and want to talk about them and stuff like that. But then they'll go back and do the exact same acts or the exact same behavior. And then it's like you're a hypocrite because how are you going to talk about somebody and you're doing the exact same thing? And you don't see nothing wrong with what you did, but you see everything wrong with what they did, even though they were the exact same acts. Y'all did the exact same thing, but you look at that other person like they just the worst person in the world. But then you look at yourself like it was cool, right? So they're hypocrites. So y'all already know what a hypocrite is. So yeah, they're hypocrites, right? Y'all know what a hypocrite is, right? So number 10. Number 10 is along with the hypocriticalness, right? Along with that is number 10 is He's judgmental, right? So a narcissistic man will be very judgmental. So when I say he's going to be judgmental, that means he's going to be criticizing everything. He got an opinion. He got something to say on everything. It don't matter what it is. And he is all. And a lot of times, it's always a negative opinion. It's always a hating opinion. It's always an opinion like, oh, well, I don't, I'm, I'm good on that. I don't like that. Or that don't look good to me. Or I don't like that. That's that ain't that ain't cool. That that's that that's that. You know. And they're so judgmental, and they have such a big opinion that their opinion is so big that they start that they start pointing fingers at other people, and they want other people to think the way they think, right? So narcissistic man, they want other people to think the way they think. If that, if I say if I say that this is this, if I say if I say that the, the the sky is orange, the sky is orange. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like everybody else should feel like the sky is orange. If they say the sky is orange, they feel like you supposed to believe the sky is orange because I said it, right? So that's that, and they're, and they're just judgmental. They don't they don't want to be judged, but they want to do the judging, right? They want to judge other people, but they can't be judged themselves. A lot of times they don't like being judged. They like they like pointing the finger at other people and calling other people out. Narcissistic men love calling people out on their mistakes because it makes them feel good that it makes them feel like they're doing everything right when they can point out everybody else's mistakes. So it makes them feel like they're good, you know? So that's that. And that rolls into number 11, right? Number 11. Number 11 is he can't take constructive criticism, right? So a lot of times when a man is narcissistic, he cannot take constructive criticism because, again, he always feels like he's right. Nobody can ever tell him no different. And he's selfish and, and, he's, and he's arrogant. And he's stuck up and he's just cocky and he's overly confident. He only cares about himself. So, yes, he cannot take constructive criticism at all because the second you try to to the second you try to help him out or the second you try to tell him or try to, you know, have him take accountability or point the finger at him or you make a mere suggestion or something like that, he don't care about none of that. Or he don't he don't care about you trying to critique something that he's doing or you're trying to maybe you're trying to give him some pointers or you're trying to help him out with something that he's doing and he cannot take constructive criticism. Let's say he's working on a project, right? And you say, oh, well, why don't you do this? Or, or maybe you can do something like this. Or, or no, nah, I don't like the way you did that. Let's do this this way. You know, maybe you should do it that way. And then he just get mad. He just, you don't know what you're talking about. I, I'm, I'm the best. I, I'm the best at what I do. You can't tell me nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm the best at what I do. Leave me alone. You, you know what you know. You don't know nothing. You know because he cannot take constructive criticism. He feel like everything he touches gold, and nobody else can tell say nothing about it. So if he creates something, if he makes something, if he do something, he feel like that's what it is. That's the Bible. That's what it is. And anybody else that say anything against it, that they're wrong. They're wrong. So if this man, if he, if, if this man do anything, you know, and anybody says anything, uh, 
negative about it or does not say that what he did was just amazing, then he's going to feel like, he's going to feel like, he's going to feel like y'all hating on him. You know, because he cannot take constructive criticism. And a lot of times, it's not hating. You think that people are hating on you because they're trying to critique you or trying to help you out with what you got going on. Or they're trying to give you constructive criticism, but you think they're hating on you, right? So a lot of times with narcissistic men, they think that you're hating on them because you're trying to give them constructive criticism. You're trying to just tell them what they can do differently. You're trying to help them out and they feel like you're attacking them, right? And they're always on defense. They're always on defense. Anytime you deal with a narcissistic man, he's always on defense. He always got his guard up. It's always, it's always who won it? Who won it? Who won it? Who come after me? Who come after me? Nah, all y'all wrong. All y'all wrong. I'm the one right. I'm the, I'm the big dog. I'm the top dog. Forget what y'all talking about, you know? So that's how, that's how he's looking at it. So he's always on guard. That rolls right to number 12, right? Number 12 is they get offended easily, right? So there again, like I said before, when you start pointing fingers at a narcissist or you start giving him constructive criticism or you start telling him something that he could do better to improve his life or something like that, he will get offended easily because again, he feels like you hating on him. So he getting offended. He's feeling like, oh, well, well, you coming at me wrong, you know, and you're not even coming at him wrong. You're just coming at him out of love and you're trying to help him out, but he feel like you're attacking him. So he always got his guard up again because he get easily offended. He feel like you're offending him by pointing fingers at him, making him take accountability, or even just trying to give him constructive criticism and help him out. He feels like, he feels like you are attacking him a lot of times. So anytime you try to tell a narcissistic man about himself, he's going to feel like you're attacking him. He's going to feel like he's going he's gonna to be in defense mode. So he's going to just attack you back, you know? So he's going to feel like, oh, well, you coming at me, I got to come at you. So that's how narcissistic men are. They got to they shut everything down. They don't care about nothing else nobody else got to say. They don't care about no, your opinion. My opinion is the only opinion that matters. That's all they care about, right? So that's that, okay? All right. So, so we go to number 13, right? Number 13 is... They never take advice or suggestions, right? So that kind of goes into constructive criticism, but these are more like suggestions, right? These are more like advice. This is more like I'm trying to really help you. So like, let's just say, let's just say, you know, you have a narcissistic man and he's going through something, right? And you try to give him some suggestions or some advice or just to kind of, you know, give him a clear uh, direction of where to go. And he does not take your advice because he feels like he's always right. He feels like he don't care about what you got to say, what, what your opinion is invalid. You know, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, it sounds good. But at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I want to do at the end of the day because I'm, I'm going to be right. It doesn't matter, you know. So you can't even give him just even good advice, even good constructive criticism, even good suggestions. Like, hey, why don't you go do this? Why don't you go do that? Hey, hey, why don't you add this on? What you're doing is perfectly fine. It's nothing wrong with what you're doing. But why don't you do this to help you out even more, right? This this time, I feel like constructive criticism is like, yeah, this is cool, but let's tweak some things, right? But when you're actually trying to make a suggestion or you're giving somebody advice and stuff like that, that means like you love what they're doing, but they can add on to it, right? Not just change what they got going on, but they can add on to it because you know, you know another avenue that they can, you know, expand on. You know, so you're not calling him out saying that what he's doing is terrible. You're just saying you could do more, right? So, but he can't take that. He can't even take that. He can't even take the positive constructive criticism. That's all I'm saying. He can't take the positive constructive criticism. He can't take the fact that, oh, I'm trying, you you try, you, you as a woman, you're trying to help this man do something. You're trying to give him some advice. You're trying to give him some, some suggestions. And he's like, ah, oh, that's cool, but ah. And he don't, he don't care nothing about your advice and he never take your advice. He never take your suggestions seriously. Then he's narcissistic because he cares. He feels like it's my way or the highway. I'm always right. I don't care about what you're talking about. Bye. Get on my face. You know? So that's that, right? So that's that. So, so number 14. Number 14 is they always think that they're right. Okay? So I've said this plenty of times in this video. But specifically, a lot of narcissistic men, 
They feel like they're always right. They feel like they can never do no wrong. Everything they say is just the, just gold, just the Bible. Everything they say, that's what it is. Everything I say is facts. Everything I say is is that's what it is. You know, and then, and, and it doesn't matter. Like you can never you can never tell a narcissistic man that he's wrong. You can never point fingers at him. You can never do nothing. He's gonna flip it on you. Or he's just going to not take accountability because he feels like he's always right. So even when he's wrong, he's still right even when he's wrong. So even when you, even when you know that he's wrong and you point fingers at him and you can see on paper, this is where you're wrong at, this is where you're wrong at, he'll still find a way how to wiggle his way out of it to try to throw the blame on you or throw the blame on somebody else or take the blame off of him or try to justify the reason why he did what he did. He don't never say, I'm sorry. That's never going to come out of his mouth. When a man, when a narcissistic man thinks that he's always right, he will never apologize. He will never say, I'm sorry. He will never, he don't care about your feelings. He's all, he's always right. I only care about me. I'm always right. I don't care about your feelings or what you got going on or nothing like that. I only care about me, right? So that's a lot of times how narcissistic men are. They only care about themselves. So they don't care about you and what you got going on. And they only care about them being right. I'm always right. You're wrong. End of story. That's that, right? Okay, number 15 is they will throw you under the bus for their own selfish benefit, right? So a lot of times when a narcissist, when a man is narcissistic, he will throw anybody under the bus if it benefits him, right? So like, let's just say, let's just say him and his friend run into some trouble with the law, right? This is the type of man that will throw his home homeboy under the bus and will snitch on him and will point fingers at him for his own selfish benefit, right? So this, and so in this situation, this will be a snitch. So a narcissist, a narcissistic man will be a snitch because he will feel like I gotta throw this other person under the bus so that I can make sure that I'm good. Because as long as I'm good, I don't care. I don't care what happened to you. You, you can be locked up forever. I don't care what happened to you. They won't lock you up. They can lock you up, but they're not gonna lock me up. So guess what? You know what? I got, I'm gonna throw the, I'm gonna throw you under the bus. I'm gonna snitch on you, and I'm gonna tell on you so I don't get in trouble, right? So that's what a narcissistic man will do. They will snitch on their, they will, they will snitch on you. They will betray you, and they will bite you, all because they don't want to get in trouble. So they will throw you under the bus in a heartbeat anybody for their own as long as they can make it out alive they they gonna throw you under the bus as long as they can make it out they cool you know so so this is the type of man he will snitch on you he will betray you he will turn his back on you he care more about himself than he do you it wasn't it wasn't we got caught it was you got caught i well yeah we did get caught but guess what i'm gonna throw the blame on you because you the one that made me do it and again that's because he can't take accountability for his own actions so when you take when you can't take accountability for your own actions, somebody gotta take accountability. That's when you start pointing fingers, and then he start pointing fingers at you. He'll throw you under the bus so that he don't get in trouble, right? So that's that. So ladies, those are 15 ways how you can spot a narcissistic man, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Go get my brand new girls night card game. Go get my ebook. Link is in the description below, and I'm out of here. So until the next video.